down to the last four. Both teams playing delightful football throughout the tournament, but who will progress to the World Cup final? Stay tuned to find out live here on EA TV. It's fair to say that tension levels have been heightened as we get ready for this semi-final here at the 2022 World Cup. My name is Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me providing expert analysis is Stuart Robson and a special atmosphere for this very special contest. It's France against Morocco. Well, this could be an absolute classic and the prize couldn't be any bigger, could it? A place in the World Cup final. Let's just hope we get two teams that want to play good football and come out and attack the opposition. This should be a good game. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Dayo Upamecano plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Kylian Mbappe plays with Ousmane Dembele in the wide positions. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And here's how Morocco will line up. Yassine Bounou is the goalkeeper. Hakim Ziyech plays with Sofian Bouffal in the wide positions. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And now they get the ball rolling. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Now can they make something happen? And you can sense the threat is there. It might be. A oh, good hit. Close shave. Well, considering the form book, Stuart, Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here. I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. Oh, hang on, Stuart, it's a chance. And there it is! The first goal of the semi-final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes! Well, there it is. In off the underside of the crossbar. That's a good goal, isn't it? Back underway, 1-0 it is. Giroud. And players waiting in the centre. Tempele. And back with Giroud.
Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post cover for me. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Jawad El Yamik. Ziyech. An important interception. Aurelien Chouameni. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Oh, it was a close run thing, but the goalkeeper just got there first. Mbappe now Griezmann interception to snuff out the danger Rabiot can he take the chance and a goal to increase their advantage to three can they be stopped Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So the action is restarted, and it's been a goal-scoring masterclass from France so far. You sense it's a question of how many. Sofiane Buffal. This attack looks highly promising. Lost possession. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Is this the moment? It was an excellent example of how to break at pace. Well, that's counter-attacking football at its best. They switch on so quickly when they win the ball back. It deserved a goal. There is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Hernandez. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. The ball rolling again. France having already made a big first-half statement here. Will we see more dazzling football from them in this second half? Tempele. Oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And over it comes. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. Now a short corner here. Mbappe. Upamecano. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Chouameni. Teo Hernandez. 
Radio. Well, no surprise there. France have enjoyed most of the possession. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Oh, Stuart, they could be in here. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Chouameni. Now Griezmann. They've given it away. Yusuf and Nesiri. 20 minutes to go in this one. Can he convert? Body on the line. Dembele. Coman. Hernandez. It's a corner. So making the substitution now. <laughs> Whipped in by Griezmann. Really fine catch by the goalkeeper. Under a bit of pressure too. Griezmann. Long way at this. Palmed away by the keeper. Can he put it away? Mbappe. And attempting the through ball. There it is. Victory more or less guaranteed now. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then the strike from Coman. He never looked like missing, did he? It's a brilliant finish. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Tempele. That ball was put into the right area, but no one able to capitalize. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Azadine Unahi. There it is! We can say it officially now. France will be in the World Cup final. Well, what a display that was. Their attacking play was breathtaking at times, and they completely dominated in midfield, which then allowed the fullbacks to get forward to great effect. They'll surely be favourites going into the final. What a strong individual statement of this game from Kingsley Coman. Interested to know what you made of him. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.